Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rodolf and welcome to another one of my hit film tutorials. So before I start, I'm just gonna say that I've done some updating to my website and everything's kind of in a different place now. So if you need to find the hit film tutorials and presets and things like that, just go to the hit film tab and you can click right here and you'll either find the tutorials, presets or project files. So, so yeah, anyways, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to emboss your text. I know Bevel and Emboss is a tool that is highly recommended for hit film right now, like you'd find in Photoshop and things like that. But I found a way that you can kind of get the same, well, close to the same look to just give your text more depth so it doesn't look just flat. So right here you can see that's how it looks before. And then right here you can see how it looks after. If you look around the edges, you will see that it kind of gives the text a more popping out feel. So how to do that? So let's start right here. So let's just go and get a new text and yeah, let me just call it Roddy. Let's make it a little bigger. So yeah, so we have the text right here and let me zoom in so you guys can see it. So we have the text right here and it's all flat right now. And that's good, but for a lot of the previews I've been doing, like you will see that my text kind of have a popping out feel to it. So let's just go to effects and stylize. And we're going to use the emboss tool. Now the emboss tool, it's, it's not really for beveling and embossing text, but I found a way that you can kind of use it for that one. And so pretty much this, if we had some textures here, you would see all kind of popping out feel to the texture but since it's just a smooth surface you don't really see nothing and pretty much let me show you how that would do for example if I go right here up, up the contrast and the edge width right now you can kind of see that you do see a more 3d feel but it doesn't look at all like the way we would want it to because that's not what the emboss tool is for really so what we would need to do is decrease the blend amount to where we still have the image we had at first, but we still have the 3D feel to it. So that's how it looks right, right now. That's how it was before, and that's how it is now. And if you move the direction right here, you can move the direction of the suppose of light that would be hitting the, the text to move the shadows and highlights somewhere else. So, and also you can kind of see it kind of looks a little bit weird, like the edges might be a little not smooth. So let's just go to Blur and Sharpen and get the Diffuse. And let's up the Opacity and let's just put the Radius at 1 pixels. So right here you can kind of see it has a smooth look of the 3D feel that you would want. So. So yeah, that's a pretty simple tutorial and right here you can see some examples of the tests I've been doing where I use that technique and it, it's cool. Until we get the bevel and emboss update, that's a pretty great way to give your text some depth and make some pretty cool graphics and things like that. So hope you like this tutorial and remember I put out tutorials almost every week so subscribe if you want to catch some more hit film tutorials and be sure to watch my other ones. So yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial and have a nice day.